Big thanks to Huber Engineered Woods for sponsoring this video. This is a how-to video on proper installation of subfloor. The very first step, and I cannot overemphasize this, snap a chalk line so that you can line up that first row. If you don't get that first row straight, you're really going to fight it the whole rest of the way. I remember the very first subfloor I ever laid by myself when I was about 15. Thankfully it went underneath the garage slab because it was a train wreck. Get it started straight, your life will be much easier. We like to set the first row upside down so that all we'll have to do is flip them over. It gives us a walking surface so that we're able to move and enjoy it. Now I'm going to get into this particular adhesive a little later in the video. This is the fastest system that we have ever used. We've used everything on the market. Battery powered glue guns, pneumatic glue guns. We've tried every glue there is out there. This is crazy fast and really strong. You'll just notice here in real time, about as fast as I can walk, I can glue. Especially once you get into a rhythm. And on top of it, if it's cold and it's icy, it works exactly the same as what you're seeing here in 75 degree weather. It is an awesome product. So step one, snap a straight line. Step two, glue the joists. And then just lay all your sheets. Lay them out so that the joists are nice and straight. Make sure that you leave yourself an eighth of an inch all the way around the panel. In this case, I'm tacking them one at a time. Normally I would use a nail gun for that, a, a hoseless nail gun, but the other carpenter on our crew was doing some pickup framing. So here I'm tacking them as I go, just because it's row number two, and I want to make sure that I get those all laid out and keep those joists straight. After that, we won't have to lay out any more joists. Now when it comes to using the sledgehammer, do not beat the sheets tight. Just use it to tap them into place. Uh, my framing hammer just doesn't move them quite well enough, so that sledgehammer just means small taps. Our preferred way of fastening the subfloor is a stand-up auto-feed screw gun. In this case, it's cordless. You'll notice that we have no cords and hoses on this floor to trip over or drag through the gear. Very fast, very strong. Drastically cuts down on speed. Now here's just a point of view video of that Advantech oh, subfloor adhesive. It comes out as a foam and it reduces to gel. But notice that about as fast as I can walk, and with that long barrel, I don't have to lean way out over the joist. In fact, I don't even have to stand on the joist. My feet are solidly on the previous row. I'm going to let this play in its entirety for this run, just so you get a feel for just how quick this is. Of course, the more you do it, the more confident you can, the faster you can go. One way we promote that on our job site is race. <laughs> Healthy competition is a very good thing. Everybody wins. Just watch. So I like to leave the blocks for last. Just watch how fast I can glue these blocks hey, you're in my way. once I get past Shane. You're in my way, you're in my way. Basically, as fast as you can speed walk, you can lay down that bead of glue. You want to lay it down so that when it reduces, you end up with about a 3 8 bead. Here's a row of blocks for a shear wall. You get into such a rhythm that it's like, oh, <laughs> let off the trigger. Now here's my preferred way to set sheets, is instead of setting them one at a time and tacking them, set it down, use my foot to pull that tongue into the groove, grab the next sheet, etc. So I have not yet put it in place or tacked it down. I try to lay as many sheets as I can. Uh, by the way, this was a crazy windy day, which we don't get, and it's this same easterly winds that just started a ton of wildfires in Washington and Oregon. It blew the hat right off. Notice I just kicked that sheet to give myself an eighth of an inch gap. Just tap the sheet together. I want to make sure I have an eighth of an inch gap along all those edges. Tack it down a hoseless nail gun, just easier on the body. Remember, we have a 20 minute uh, working time. Now on this last little four foot sheet, you'll notice that it's such a light tap, we are not beating these sheets together. We're just lightly tapping that tongue into the ground. And then tack it down so the sheet doesn't move as we walk around, and then Shane's gonna come behind me and screw it down. Now here's that foam, and notice in about 10 seconds, it reduces down to that polyurethane gel. This stuff is crazy strong. I've glued it to floor joists and then hung off of it and did pull-ups. You can see that in a previous video. So if we were to recap the video, we'd say snap a straight line, lay out all of your uh, joists so that they're straight, make sure that before you set the sheets, you glue them, and when you 
do the second row, make sure you leave yourself an eighth of an inch all the way around.